Oh, what up, everybody? Open some power. Got Iona, Shield of Amira here. Probably the best card in the pack. Probably taking Mana Vault. The Iona thing was a joke. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, what up, Monsonster? Oh, what up, D-Man? Oh, what up, Mage? Oh, what up, Mito Command? You know, it feels bad when you lose round one, then compared up against Team Jabra around two. So you lose round two as well. That's rough. Man. It's pretty sweet, though, that Team j got the buy, you know? That seems kind of cool. <laughs> Gotti. Oh, an Ashiok. Also an Ancient Tomb? Hmm. There's a lot of fast mana here, guys. Promise you'll never leave. Where would I go? What, I'm not, I'm not Michael B's dad over here. Gotti. I like Ashiok, but I think I like Ancient Tomb better. I don't want to have to commit to a color if I don't have to. Plus, we can now we can build around Ancient Tomb. And there is a, there is such thing as building around Ancient Tomb. You just get cards that have two or more colorless mana in their costs. Like an Ashiok's not great with an Ancient Tomb because you can just use a regular land to pay for that one colorless mana. So you look for the cards that you can't do that with. Probably just taking Pluto Delta here. get so much. The only other card I'm even considering is Cultivate because we have Ancient Tomb, but nothing in this pack is super compelling. I almost asked, like, did I get paired up or are you having an off day or what? <laughs> oh, good times. Why are you playing in the 101 oh, bracket? Oh dear. Oh, I kind of like Entomb here. I also like Sylvan Library. I also like Bayou. We can get it with the Pluto Delta. Lingering Souls ain't bad. See, this pack's tricky because this pack is forcing us into a direction. I think it might be in Tomb. Yeah, I'm going to take the Entomb. Let's go in a, in a direction that we haven't gone before. Let's take a Golgari Signet, which we can play on turn one with our Ancient Tomb. And it's also green-black is a decent reanimate color, so... Deal. Bet. Oh, what up, McGimp? Michael Larson, I'm going to apply for a bunch of positions at Blizzard tonight. Oh, actually, I'll send you the... I'll send you the links for them so that you can... Uh, Thank you! So that you can give me the give me the other links. So you, could, so you can transform them into better links. Standard beat, you missed a month? <laughs> I expect better from someone who's actually been to my house before. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay. Um, well, windswept teeth. Sneak attack, though. We could be sneaking. <laughs> Please do, so I can give you the better links. That's all I want. I just want to turn bad links into better links and better links into jobs. If we're reanimating, isn't sneak attack just better? Yeah, I'm going to take sneak attack. I don't care about a stupid windswept teeth. What if that Badlands comes back? That'd be pretty sweet. Wally. Uh, 
Oh, uh, Hissing Quagmire ain't Avenger of Zendikar, not terrible. We could just be black red and not care about the, the Golgari signet. I'm gonna take Quagmire here. I mean, like, we got a bunch of green fixing, sure. Oh my god, actually, that's kind of funny. You're like, well, I guess I'll sneak this creature and then reanimate it next turn. Oh, I like a Karn, especially with a Mana Vault and an Ancient Tomb. Ironically, I cannot ramp this guy into play, but none nonetheless, that's still like an 8th pick Karn. <laughs> Literally, eight other play 7 other players were like, eh. I probably can't cast this, so. I'm looking up the pre-order prices for the time shifted. Oh, Taiga? Wow, that's really good. Ancient Grudge, also really good. Jeez. I'm going to take the Taiga. Taiga is just too good to pass here. I'm looking up the pre-order prices for the time-shifted cards. My wallet is crying out. Thank you. Oh, Badger, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Someone say too many months. Thank you. I don't think so. 34. Psh. Rylos, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Just stopping by to say happy birthday to Mike and our sub baby. Hope everyone... Is it nine months? Awesome. Hope everyone is safe and having a great day. Me too. I also hope those things. I guess Garrick's fine. It's also good with the uh, Ancient Tomb, so sure. Love is on the way. It's, it's Mike's birthday every day. Come on, you should know that. Every day. Wow, the Cultivate came back? I'm sure, I'll take Cultivate. This is kind of like a, a ramp reanimate sneak attack deck. You know what I'm saying? You guys know. You guys know what I'm saying. I was, I was being what we call in the biz facetious. Wow. Okay. Okay, sassy boy. Can you imagine if we get that like last pick ancient grudge? I don't even know if it would be the last pick, but it'd be, it'd be sweet. Eh, I'll take on master. I do have a new standard deck for you? Really? Are there elves involved? <laughs> Just kidding. There's always elves involved. <laughs> I'll sooner take a Yava my Elder than a Smokestack. Okay, so we didn't get those things back, unfortunately. Okay, nothing good here. Nothing to reanimate, no way to reanimate them. No lands in our colors. Not ideal. I guess we can Recurring Nightmare and build around that. It's not terrible. Also, Huntmaster gaining us life is, is also not the worst because uh, we're gonna take some off of our Ancient Tomb and potentially off our Mana Vault as well. So, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna Recurring Nightmare. I like an Animate Dead. If either of these two come back, it's pretty sweet. What's going on out there? Something suspicious. Take animate dead. I hear rustling. Light up the stage, but no. What is it? My deck doesn't have it. Really? Well, color may surprise, buddy. Wow, the pre the time shifted ponders are going for like forty bucks. Which is, like, possibly the most expensive one of all of them. 
that's kind of insane. Actually, no, Chalice of the Void is probably the most expensive, but it might be the second most expensive. I mean, it's presumably because people want four of them and it's not actually legal in other formats. Ooh, Kozilek. We got a sneak attack. Also, Wooded Foothills, though. I'm going to take the Wooded Foothills. Fixing our mana in this three-color deck seems better. I mean, it definitely could come down. These are pre-order prices, so... Thoughtseize is also 50 right now, so. God, it sucks that I want like 45 of these friggin' time shifted cards. Good lord. Rip my wallet. Wastes are like 10 bucks. Can you imagine? People are like, I need fucking 20 wastes for my deck. And you're like, oh, well, too bad, I guess. Oh, you haven't seen the wastes yet, huh? I'll show it. Yeah, young PC is like twenty, like fifteen bucks. I'm just looking at cool stuff pre-order prices because that's where I'm obviously going to get them. But um, Aaron Mesa gets a Taiga. Assassin's Trophy, not bad. Ashen Rider is not bad for sneak attack or reanimate. Let's take the Ashen Rider. That's kind of a dude. Is this the good art? <laughs> I don't even know which wastes I like. Let me look at the wastes art and I'll show you my favorite. Okay, it's not this one. <laughs> it's not that one. Oh, Emrakul? Sneak attack? Emrakul? In for that. In for it. Okay, hold on. Let's look at... View all prints. Oh, yeah, there's only the two. Okay, so yes, that's correct then. I didn't realize there was only two waste arts because that seems uncommon. Usually there's like four of arts, four of arts of things. Um, let's take Rakdos Signet. That's on color. The only other thing I would consider is Solemn Simulacrum, but... Uh... I'm almost tempted to take Wildfire here. Because really... I mean, this pre and this, this Riffling Cloud Skater here very, very late. I'm going to take Wildfire because we have Mana Vault, Signet, and Signet. So maybe it's a thing we do. I don't think so. I'm very reluctant to play wildfire for reasons, but. Um, Putridim's fine. I'd rather have Murderous Rider though. TCG places made me think of it. Did you end up selling Slivdrazi Monstrosity? If so, what did you get for it? Um, so I got it. Uh, I had it on eBay. And someone eventually bought it for four fifty. Uh, I had it like fifty dollars above the highest price, and the reason was that like, if someone wants to buy it, that's cool. I mean, I don't actually think it was. I think it was on par with the highest price. I think the highest price was four fifty, and I think it just the the other ones that were four fifty sold, and this mine ended up eventually being the cheapest one on there. And so yeah, it sold for four fifty, which is pretty insane. Let's take Damnation here. 
Or Survival. Survival's a great discard outlet, actually. Let's do that. Oh, Sundering Titan came back. We're going to take that guy. Kozilek came back. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we're doing it. Well, I mean, mine sold on February 8th for 450 Oh, wow. Brutality and Una's Prowler as discard outlets. That's kind of sweet. I also kind of like Assassin. Yeah, we'll take the Brutality. I do like it better than... Uh, a trophy in this. Exhum came back? Exhum came back? I mean, this is nice because we have two creatures we can't reanimate, but we can sneak attack, um, and we have two creatures we can easily sneak attack or recurring nightmare, so... No, living death? Sure. This actually looks pretty decent. I'm wondering... What's the cheapest on eBay right now? Let's find out. It's funny when you search for Slavdrazi's, like, there's a bunch of, like, fake proxies. Looks like the cheapest is 500 now. I mean, it seems like a card that's just going to keep going up, so maybe I shouldn't have sold it. But mine was actually the most recent sale on eBay. <laughs> that's actually pretty hilarious. February 8th, 450. Mine was the most recently sold Slivdrazi. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Here is Towards the Time Sparrow card. How about a mono red stop? Stip. Normal exceptions, you have gone 30 with all my stips, so don't break... 3-0. You mean 3-0, I assume. I will try not to break that record. I think it's got to be Grim Monolith here. Grim Monolith and Mana Vault. Uh, you cannot Recurring Nightmare Eldrazi, no. Recurring Nightmare you can only activate as a sorcery. Um, now we get a channel as well, which is pretty cool. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. So while the trigger goes on the stack, you're just like, okay, I can't respond to this. We're going to take channel because we already have these four things. Holy crap, that could not have been better. I didn't even look at the other pack, I want to be honest. I mean, like, we're just putting all the pieces together here, which is pretty pretty insane. I would like a Bayou, but we already passed it in pack one. So, Gristlebrand. That's a fat daddy. Also, Survival is pretty good, because it lets us just filter through all of our creatures. Yeah, I think we're just taking Gristlebrand here. I mean, we have Exhum and Animate Dead and Recurring Nightmare, so... Okay. There's actually... Mossy Beard, there's actually a ton of cards from um, the, the Mystery Booster test cards that are worth money. I'm actually looking for... I think it's called a Time Sidewalk or something. But it's on my, like, wish list, and it's kind of cool, and I just kind of want it for, like, fun. I don't actually plan on reselling that one. I just think it's a cool card. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we got a Vulcan. I like that oh, one of our Cygnus is green. Woodfall Primus, I guess, is f also fine. I mean, there's nothing else. Actually, Turn Timber Symbiosis might be the pick. As just a land. I don't feel like we need a Woodfall Primus here. Yeah, we'll just take the Symbiosis. What's Unmarked Mine? I don't think I've even heard of that. There's actually a bunch of test cards I haven't seen. Oh, gold mine. Okay. I don't know. What, I still don't know what it is. Tap to add a colorless. Legacy. Tap. Mark one of card names. Unmarked nodes. Add one. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Oh, an unmarked gold mine. Interesting. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Wow, that's really actually kind of sweet. That card's kind of amazing. Okay, so basically, you tap it to add a colorless, or you can tap it up to five times to add a, a mana of any color. But you have to, like, mark it when you do that. Let's take a search for tomorrow. That's probably the best card in this pack. We want to be able to hit our to hit our things. This is 24 cards already? Yikes. <laughs> our deck looks sweet. <laughs> How much, what does gold mine go for? Thirty bucks? Not terrible. What if you use the pencil and then you just erase it? <laughs> Hmm. 
kind of feel bad about that. Yeah, it's like, just let him, just be like, don't worry about it, man. I know what's happening. Oh, Raging Ravine, I like. Plus, we don't need more playables here. Yeah, Raging Ravine's a good one. Can I get an Overgrown Tomb or a Blood? Actually, did we pass the Bayou? Maybe I've been thinking of the Badlands. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hunter's doing big snore in here. I love seeing, I love, one of my favorite things is I love seeing magic cards that I've never seen before. Plus Delta so far only gets a swamp, which is pretty sad. I mean, don't want just plateau. It, it helps our wooded foothills get a red source. <laughs> oh, God, just kidding. And I'm not, it does do that. I think I'll just take the plateau anyway, whatever. Have you seen this? Seek Bolus's counsel. No, I haven't. This is really wordy. Okay, it's not a planeswalker, but you still get an emblem? That's cool. I actually thought there should be cards that um that provide emblems outside of planeswalkers. Like recently Seagate Restoration. And even like Reliquary Tower, right? Like these should have emblems. Like, here's my theory, right? Like, this is a card that says you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. It's a card that affects the rest of the game. You should have an emblem that says you have no maximum hand size, right? Because it's just easy to remember. Um, Shieldred? You know, I mean, like... Like, there's no reason emblems should be strictly restricted to planeswalkers. As a late Rafellos. <sighs> like a comically late Rafellos. I'm just taking the Rafellos. Uh, Packard actually seems pretty sweet. We can discard things. Rakdos's return seems fine with the amount of mana we have like especially because like this sorcery right here says you get an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep pay three if you don't you lose the game oh it's random <laughs> okay well that's no good uh each one dis each player discards their hand that one's good planes walk to pools of becoming which is that's actually really funny because it's a it's a scheme or it's a it's one of the plane cards from the, the Woodfall Primus comes back too. It's one of the planes from like Plane Chase, so like you have to have that, which is kind of amazing that they're like referencing that. Sure, and you almost burned last week. Um, for each opponent, exile cards from the top of their library until you exile a non-land card. You may cast those cards without paying their mana costs. Obviously, this is, you know, a, a very commander-centric card. Destroy all creatures and non-Bolas planeswalkers. Or you get an emblem with you can cast non-land cards from your sideboard. That's a lot of things. Austin, you're an amazing dude. Got him. Yeah, <laughs> just got wrecked. What are you going to do about that, awesome Austin? <laughs> Got him. Even Katie was like, wow. That's how bad the burn was. Yeah. Austin should probably stop watching and go to the hospital. Did you say nah? Yeah. Wow, that's messed up. She was just kidding, apparently. She didn't, she didn't really mean it. That was a long honk. I don't know if you guys could hear that honk. Oh, what up, Fritzy? Like, 
Hold on, I'm actually making a post about how uh, these cards should have emblems. To remind you of... Just wanted to do a rant about how emblems should have should be things that exist outside of planeswalkers. There's no reason that cards like Reliquary Tower and Seagate Restoration don't produce emblems to remind you of their rustic. Actually, does Reliquary Tower? It's only when it's in play, right? What's that? What's another card that like you have no hand size for the maximum? Save it for the cool stuff. I don't have a whole article as a problem. I would love to put Praetor's Council. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. With Karn on the throne. Oh, you put you put Paytor's Council. That's a different card. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Wow, do I really need an apostrophe here? Okay, do I need an apostrophe at the end? Okay. Praetor. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Reliquary Tower is like, you have no maximum hand size. And then if you get rid of it, you're like, oh, now I have... Yeah, it's council as in, like, you get it. Like All right, so we need something like three cuts. I believe in us. All the cards that are relevant for our... I think we can take Huntmaster out. Probably take Garrick out, too. It just doesn't go with our plan. Our plan is to reanimate any of these fat idiots. Wow, that's a lot of creatures. I think we could take Sundering Titan out. We still have Karn, Kozlek, and Emrakul for channel. Oh, this is 23 now. We did it. Yeah, the epic cards as well, right? Like, um, you can only cast this for the rest of the game. Like, they should just em they should just have emblems to to help with that, you know? Like, there's no reason. Like a vengeance. Whoo! So, Pluto Delta just not good here. Thank you. Bizarre of Baghdad, actually not terrible, surprisingly. Oh, Revised Shivan, thank you for the resub, buddy. Well, oh, Neon Tokyo, thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. The Corn Father. What was I going to do? I was going to look something up. I forgot what it was, though. We have actually no blood. I guess we have Hissing Quagmire. I don't know if Recurring Nightmare is good. We have eight creatures. We literally have no creatures to sacrifice to Recurring Nightmare. <gasps> I think we take out the Recurring Nightmare. Probably bring back Huntmaster. God, see, this is this is the reason I'm I'm not super high on Recurring Nightmare. I think Recurring Nightmare is an incredibly strong card, but it actually takes a decent amount of work to get it going. Like, to have an effective Recurring Nightmare deck. Okay, four, five, six. No, none of this. So red, we have one, two, three. Oh, we don't actually need the plateau. That's just another land for an opponent, Sundering Titan. Let's cancel that. Okay. Add lands. We're going to bring Turn Timber over here. Like if we got Bitter Blossom or Ophiomancer or any of those kind of kind of effects, I would definitely see playing it. But right now, like we have nine creatures in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Seven of them cost five or more. Our only other two are Huntmaster and Murderous Rider. Which makes me think survival might not even be great here because we're not discarding anything irrelevant. We're mostly if we have a creature in hand, it's probably gonna be fine. <sighs> Which is kind of funny. Like, wouldn't I rather have Sundering Titan in my hand than Survival? Probably. 
That's so weird. Or pack rat. I could see pack rat as well. Like the reason you 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 have survival is like okay, I can discard an ashen rider for like a causal like if I have channel in hand. But if we have if we have survival to do that, and we're replacing it with sundering titan, then all the times we have survival, we just have sundering titan instead. I you know I I'm not a physicist, but I believe that's how that works. No, you're done. Five, six. I think I want seven here at least. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I think one red is fine. This is one, two, three, four red. Plus plus the signet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can go down to eight here. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we get one more too. Six. I think I do want eight here because we do have Entomb, Exhum. Both of these are black though, which is nice. Yeah, let's just add another green because double because channel. Okay, this seems sweet. I so living death here doesn't do much because I don't have I don't have consistent ways to get these guys in the graveyard. I don't think we have like collective brutality and entomb. That's it. Maybe that's good enough though. I don't know. Did we take that damnation? I could have sworn we took a damnation. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. We'll see how this... I, like, this deck seems like a pretty insane, like, sneak attack deck. Chicken and the cone. Chicken and the cone. Chicken in the corn. I'm just gonna pause it until until this match fires. Alright, let's jump in this bad boy. Chicken in the corn. Um I'm gonna keep this hand. It doesn't do much, but boy is it is it a lot of mana. Don't dream it's over here now. Here now. In a home between us, you know they won't win. Side deck is not a thing either. I mean, if you guys insist on using fake made up words, then every word's made up. Yeah, that's a good point, I guess. I really can never argue with that. I'm like, you know what? Every word is made up. That's a good point. In the world between us. Oh, oof. how's that guy getting out? I don't know. This is all my manners. Well, we have a way to discard it. We just need a way to reanimate it. Oh, their their mana base looking hot. I'm gonna always just always yield to both of these. I don't really need. Can we just cast this next turn? One, two, three, four, six, seven. We can just cast Sundering Titan next turn. Um, Target opponent rolls their hand. Thirst? Oh, they're just going to... They're going to deceive Rexark next turn. That's really kind of annoying. Can they do anything with Seething Song? I don't think so. Wow, that's really sad. <sighs> we might be dead here now. <laughs> I was like, wow, we're going to Sundering Titan. That's cool. But it was not cool. Uh, let's get a um, green, I guess. Oh, wow. They're just going to let us do it. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
Was not expecting that. I was assuming they were 100% going to tap our mana vault there. So what, what land did they play? They played a mountain. Okay, so we know this, this is five of their six cards. And based on our new knowledge of Sundering Titan, we get to kill all of their lands and none of ours because this will be a forest and a swamp. I have no idea. Like, I would have 100%. I guess they wanted to be safe, but like... One, two, three... Done. <laughs> so now they still need three more lands to play Seething Song. So Mountain, that's one. But we get to go seven. Oh, we also get to attack with Raging Green. Jeez. Yeah, they're just dead next turn. Wow, Sundering Titan, dude. That's a hell of a card. See, now, because we know this ruling, we don't actually have to target this as a forest or a swamp and then kill the remaining land of our own. I have no idea. They should have definitely tapped down my mana vault. I was like, oh, well, okay. Thanks. I kind of want char because it's just a way to deal with their, their, little, their little Jimmy. Their little biscuit boy. We can probably take out Grizzly Bee. Man, Sundering Titan was great there. Let me tell you, actually, watching people play Vintage Cube is often just as fun. I will definitely agree. I love when new Vintage Cube videos go up because I'll just watch them from other people, and that's cool to me. It's either Ashen Rider or Gristlebrand. I think it's Ashen Rider because we can actually cast the Gristlebrand. Oof. Oof. Eight, seven drop, seven drop, eight drop, eight drop. That's not going to do, pig. Uh, this is better. Um, Let's put forest back, I guess. This hand doesn't do anything. That's the only problem. But if we can draw black land into, like, reanimate, that's kind of cool, right? Oh, an ancestral vision. Okay, we're getting somewhere, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why would you do this? I cannot believe you've done this. Joke's on you. I always mean collector oof. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I knew they'd take sneak attack there. Oh. Well, well, well. This is nice because next turn, if we draw a green, we can actually play turn timber symbiosis. Six, seven. Which in the R deck could be very good. They're playing Kiki Jiki and they don't have a single red here, which is kind of weird. I mean, the lesson here is definitely tap the things like Grim Monolith and Mana Vault. So we're, we're looking for like a green source or a black source here, I guess. Maybe more so a green source just to just to get some, some bodies on the board. And by some, I mean a body. I have to ask you this important question. King Kong or Godzilla? Godzilla. <sighs> I honestly think Godzilla. 
I think Godzilla's character has been built far, far more in in Japanese lore. And I also think, I think the fact that King like Godzilla has more friends, like Godzilla has has had enemies in his movies that have become his friends, like Mothra, things like that, and like that actually shows a tremendous amount of character for for the character of Godzilla. And that's kind of cool. Whereas I feel like King Kong is a lot more... It's always one-dimensional. It's always like King Kong is taken from his island. He's brought to New York. He does this thing. Like, it's always the same. Oh, I didn't even see them get rid of Ancient Grudge. That's no good. Well, so long, Grim Monolith. <sighs> it's sad. It's a sad day. So you had a sad day. If we draw a red source, we can attack with Raging Ravine. If we draw a black source, we can entomb something. If we draw a black source, we have to be satisfied in tomb. One, two, three, four, five. So tell me, don't lie. Simba dot do and the scabba de bow and the hair the bad day. I mean, I think we just put Gristlebrand in the yard and hope to bring that dude back. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Watch, we're going to top deck channel. You ready? Sure. I mean, I could have entombed here in response, and I probably should have. But maybe I want them to take the entomb instead of the symbiosis. Instant demonetization. Yeah, all right, so good. They took it anyway. What's happening right now? Scramble God. Well, I definitely don't want to entomb now. Oh, well, I was going to entomb that guy. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. There's no uh, real situation where we're going to win this game, unfortunately. Um, sure, just play it out. Scrabble good. <laughs> uh. I'll keep this hand. Sneak attack is great. Cultivate's great. We can play a hunt master. We have a ton of uh, enablers here. We can, we can draw channel, sneak attack, grim monolith. Cultivate's probably getting a red and a second green, or a third green for the Woodfall Primus, I would say. Okay. Well, that is helpful.
Oh god. So you had a bad day. Send me down. Probably want a black and a red here. Get the red, get the black. Put the red in the plate. Next turn we can acidic slime. I like it. I haven't seen a single counter spell out of their deck. So one, two, three, four, five. If we play this next turn, we can go. It's your boy. I'm just gonna get rid of this blooming marsh. It's two colors. If they crack, I guess they can get a overgrown tomb, right? Oh, volcanic island. Sure, my dude. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn we can play Grim Monolith and Huntmaster. Following turn we can Woodfall Primus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, ideally we just draw Channel. <laughs> and then we can go Huntmaster, Channel, Emrakul, take an extra turn, kill you. That would be super cool. I would enjoy that. Discarded two islands, huh? Okie dokie. That guy's on one more, so. Well, look who it is. Well, it's Chorwit. That's fine. I'm not drawing any cards. Channel, 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 channel. Oh, Splinter Twin. Oh, jeez. That's not a channel. That's too bad. So instead of Huntmaster, I'm actually tempted to just kill the Narset because if they have something like Time Twister that they're looking that they're looking to play, then it's like it's really bad for us. Let's play this guy. Let's get a Taiga. All right, well, we know they have Splinter Twins, so if they can draw Deceiver X, Arc, or Pestermite, it's pretty bad for us. Unless we can draw Channel. <laughs> or Sneak Attack, I guess. Seen Swole Mike. <laughs> but Swole Mike's still in Florida. Oh. So you had a bad day. I mean, they also don't have a second red yet. So, well, next time we get to Woodfall Primus, so that's pretty cool. They have a lot of cards in hand. They draw one off Narset, two off Frantic Search, that's three. Three off Visions, and one off Probe. There's a second red, so Splinter Twin is online.
don't know what's going on. Are you and Mr. Rob ever going to do another freshly brew? I don't know. I have no idea. We just haven't talked podcast in a long time. What are they doing here? Are they tapping my grim? Big Grimmy spending G's. If it was a basalt model, if we could tap. Oh, are they just going to win? Fine. Oh. Sure. That's cute. <laughs> Amazing. Guess I gave you the win. Oh boy. That was fun. Glad you had two rituals and a zealous conscripts and a splinter twin in your hand. That's totally fucking reasonable. Spend that, play Signet, then play Cultivate and Quagmire. Seems fine. Oh, okay, that's good too. Vintage Cube should be covered by Blue Cross Copay. Yeah, that's true. You got it. I'm probably going to get a red here because we have plenty of green... Uh, and I'd like to have Sneak Attack plus Activate Mana. Two, three, Cultivato, get another green. Probably two more green, to be quite honest with you. Raging Ravine, Raging Ravine, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. It's not as much as I expected, to be honest. Sure. They have five already. I feel like we have so many top end things and we're just not hitting our enablers for those things. And it's really kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we just play Gristlebrand next turn. Oh, I guess they just turn it into an elk. But, I mean, we still get to draw seven. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> Sweet. Wow, this deck seemed amazing. And I feel like we got all of the parts that we wanted. Sneak attack, two reanimate spells, and entomb. Uh, a bunch of ramp, including Mana Vault, Ancient Tomb, and Grim Monolith, and it's just not working, unfortunately. I guess we cannot draw seven anymore because we're dead on fucking board. Sweet. Yep, that was cool. That was a that was a fun game. <laughs> this is really this is really frustrating. Um, maybe I do want Living Death. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. I mean, maybe we cut one land. 16 lands with Mana Vault, Search, Signet, Monolith, Rakdos, Signet. I don't know. Well, that worked out well, I think. Probably going to pop a Gristlebrand in the yard here. I mean, to be fair, if we draw one more black source, we can actually... Or one more green source, we can actually uh, cast shield right off of channel. I 
And the reason I'm not leading with forest in the hopes that we draw a second green source is that if we draw a second green source, we still don't have anything to channel. So. I'd much rather uh, put something in the graveyard in case we end up drawing something like Animate Dead or Exhume. And that something's going to be a Gristle Beezy. Okay, I like a Mana Vault. I mean, I'm tempted to kill this goose, to be quite honest. So if we play this, next turn we'll have three, four, five. Now, even if we draw land, we'd be one shy. I think we just play Signet in hopes for... We gotta kill the goose, right? We just have to kill this goose. Uh, hitting their hand doesn't seem great because you can only hit instants and sorceries. I mean, if I could hit an Oko, I would definitely friggin' ch I would definitely collect a brutality them. But right now, I'm just like, eh, doesn't seem great. Well, we missed our third land drop, unfortunately. I assume they're gonna get a blue source when that goes off next turn. Nope, they already got it. Oof. Well, they don't have Oko. Oh baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I mean, this channel's looking better. You think they got them counter spells? Uh, we can't do it all. We don't have enough colored sources for everything, right? Okay, that's interesting. One, two, three, cultivato. Let's get a red and a green. Put the red into play, play the green. All right, one more turn, I guess. They have not done anything. I would like them to tap out for something dumb like a, an Elder Gar Gargaroth or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can use Channel to activate this, but like... Oh, you're talking about like Shield. I mean, like we can't play Acidic Slime too because we just don't have the green for it. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, channel. Sh sure. Um, one, two, three. Actually, maybe I don't want to use my colors yet. Because we're going to draw a bunch of cards, so. Karn? Okay. Starnheim Unleashed is a hell of a card for sure. To, I mean, I like having Acidic Slime in case they have like Treachery or something, so. Play to land. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Okay. I mean, being at seven's fine. We have Huntmaster for some life. We can hard cast Karn if we want to. Oh, good. Mana Crypt out of nowhere. Don't know what this is. Crater Hoof? No. Okay, cool. Yep. 
Jesus Christ. It's an incredible event. Oh, Living Death seems banging. Wow. Okay, we'll play this. We'll play this. And we'll discard all of our things that will benefit us. This. Uh, this. This. And probably some lands. We're not going to discard Kozilek because then it shuffles our entire graveyard. That's worse. Um, one green. Hissing Quagmire. How many more do I need? think one more probably the red so next time we just go this into death yeah okay it seems good i mean fingers crossed that works out we'll see watch living death be fantastic here or watch them have mana leak are you ready for mana leak guys yeah i'm ready for mana leak No. Do we just wait? Gotta wait, right? No. <laughs> oh, it worked! Holy smokes! Wow, that was... It went so fast, I didn't even see it happen. I was like, oh! Oh boy. Opponent is a real attack helicopter. Amazing. Oh man, standard beat with the living death tech. Solid. Okay, now we are gonna consider collective brutality to get rid of their stupid upheaval. I guess we're fine. I don't really see anything I want to... I mean, Rakdos Return could be good. Yeah, looking actually, good call. Good call there, Chief. Way to go, Chief. Take the rider out. I like Huntmaster, man. I'll keep this hand. Signet and Cultivate? Sure. I mean, if we're just playing the, the ramp game... So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll go to six. <laughs> Consider, if you will, Rakdos's return. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. God, I hate this card so much. Oh, I like that card, though. Sundering Titan again. We can kill their green and their island. I guess we gotta kill our mountain though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, this is going well. Come on, living. I'll just play Living Death just to kill their board. Mana Vault. Four, five, six. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They're gonna put us to like three next turn. <sighs> I feel like it's just cultivate. Plus mana vault turn timber to try to hit something. I don't even think we. I don't think we can win this game, unfortunately. 
Like, was that turn three, Elder Gargaroth? Like, come on. I mean, having basic forest, a basic island, one mana uh, uh, ramp creature, and then Oko, like... <sighs> what are you going to do? Let's get another red and another green. We're keeping our fingers crossed for living death here. And we'd have to hit our own our own mountain and our own swamp for Sundering Titan. Unless Avacyn's Pilgrim counts as a, a plains. That still wouldn't change the mountain swamp thing. Finale for five. Acidic slime. Kill your mana vault. Make it impossible for you to do anything. Mossy Beard. One hundo made my day bits. Found the 17 playtest GP. Whoa. GP cards I kept. $433. Wow, that's, that's pretty nuts. Oh, just a Whisperwood, huh? Well, still should die to living death. I believe living death says exile. Guess we go to six. <sighs> I feel like living death is the only card we can draw here that actually does anything. Kind of close. We get rid of these two with Sundering Titan. Well, we only have one red, so that doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. Like Emrakul, they just go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, it's such a weird situation. I don't even know what one with death is. I think all of those test cards are expensive because they're just really rare. I don't know why that's... One with death is one black and says you lose the game. That's pretty funny. Oh, boy. What does turn timber hit that's that's actually going to do anything other than Emrakul? Like, nothing. The answer is nothing. I'm not, like, missing something right like one two three four one two three four five we still have four mana left over but nothing to do with it it's hilarious i feel like if we did this last turn it'd be game winning like we're one turn too slow they wouldn't have food or they these three these would be off the board they would have one two three four five six seven eight nine so they get to keep three permanents Probably like Gargaroth, Oko, one land. And I mean, then you don't get to play this. You don't get to play this. Like, we have, I don't know. I mean, Symbiosis, like, in turn timber Symbiosis, we can get like a Gristlebrand, but we don't actually get to block and gain the life because they just kill it. We could hit an Ashen Rider, but I think we took Ashen Rider out. Woodfall Primus can block here, but we still take four, five, six, seven. Like we just we're just dead on numerous metrics, unfortunately. Yeah, not even gonna do it. Like <sighs> back to the one two possibilities. This is just so, I mean, like, our deck seems super, like, it seems consistent. We have a ton of ramp and, and mana acceleration. We have a bunch of fixing. We have a bunch of big, fat idiots. We have channel, sneak attack, 
Like, we have tons of Thank things you. to do. But then we get hands like this with, like, literally no pieces of anything. <sighs> sure. This hand is just not good. Um, God, man. Uh, ship the Whispering one. Oh, Neon Tokyo Ring with the gifted stuff. I mean, what are you going to do? Sometimes magic is shit, you know? Like, that's just how it goes. It's not, uh... It's not really something you can... Control. <laughs> oh, good. I have... I have Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, and uh, Grimonolith. I don't see either of those. And we hit another land. Here comes Ancient Tomb, Ancient Grudge or something. Anamorpho's end of... In, in my main phase. Oh, watch. They're just going to go like Pestermite, and then they're going to play <laughs> Mountain and, and... Oh, what? What? Um, yeah. All right. You got me. Oh, they're also... They're O2, so... Uh, that was weird. Manamorphos as a cycle. Okay. I see. One, two, three, four, five mana. So we're looking for a channel. We're looking for not a sneak attack because we have no red sources. <sighs> Cultivate puts us to seven. Could be okay. There, there. <laughs> Good times. All right, let's see. Animate dead. Okay, if this guy gets discarded, well, that's good. So now we're looking for Collective Brutality or Entomb. Or for them to play something. You know what to do. Oh, interesting. Well, that's cool. Wish I had an answer for that thing. Nope, just the land. Yep. So probably dead now. Literally can't even deal with that. Okie dokie. Uh, I think Living Death should just be in the main deck. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we're sim symbiosising. I genuinely thought this was a trophy deck as well. It felt very good. I hate having to kill two of my lands here, but... What can you do? Shut up and take my money. Oh, I'm going to take somebody's money. One soothing Frank voice appreciation book. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. One Kerwit appreciation mention book. Gotti. Did you get he? Oh, good. A seething song. I'm sure this won't lead to anything disgusting. I think they're going to wildfire here. Chandra. Oh, I guess they can still wildfire, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be cool. Splinter Twin on Siege Gang. Sure. Oh, boy. Yeah. If you're only attacking with this, I guess I'm blocking it. Draw 
two more cards, buddy boy. Yeah, we can't do anything. This is ridiculous. Like, guess we're bringing in Living Death, taking out Huntsy. I mean, like, it's really it's really weird because, like, as a reanimate deck, we haven't drawn Entomb plus Exhum or Animate Dead once. We have yet to draw a single uh, two-card reanimate combo. We also have yet to draw, like, Channel and any of these... F like, we have more Channel... Uh, I don't want to say targets, but Channel enablers than any other deck I've played so far, which Karn, Sundering, Kozilek, and Emrakul. All four of these are great. And I, I, I like it. Just it's it's very weird that we have like all of the components of multiple decks, and we have yet to draw any of the cards that decks with fewer components draw. My love has been... Oh, God, I just dropped my drink, just fell right over. I, I use a coaster for this, like, insulated water bottle that never has any condensation whatsoever. And I feel like it just causes me more problems than anything because it doesn't... It's not gonna... It doesn't need a coaster. Yes. Entomb, still no reanimate card. <laughs> Keep. You know what? I don't care anymore. This is enough mana with Grim Monolith and Mana Vault that I feel like I'm probably okay to to keep this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so we can basically play Shielder if we hit a second black source. Well, that's not a black source. Unfortunately. So next turn, if we hit a black or a green, like we can actually go next turn, search for tomorrow, get a black source, and then play in tomb. Just running out of dire fleet, Daredevil. Very interesting. No. Eh, we drew the black source. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three. We definitely want a second green here, but the problem is we can't go search to get a green and then still in tomb, but I also just want to play shoulder next turn. So. Oh, we can just go Grim in tomb. Yeah, let's do that. Grim monolith. We in tomb like Gristlebrand and then we can get shoulder back or cast shoulder rather is what I meant to say. I hope they tap out for something really stupid. <sighs> they didn't tap out for anything. Gristleby. Well, I want to I want to entomb now because I don't want to draw the card. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's really going to be sad if we just tap out for a shielded here, though, and then, like, they don't actually... They counter it, because then we don't actually get these anymore. That would be unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine mana. Let's go Signet. Don't feel... What? I mean, they're just going to path to exile it, right? What? <laughs> they're just going to take control of it, right? Blue source, control magic. Okay. 
Taxian probe concede. Seating song, five five mana. Siege gang commander. Chandra, sure. Okay. I do acidic slime control magic. Well, I need another green source, so it's gonna take several turns. Like not next turn, but the turn after with search, and that's quite a bit of control for Shieldred, especially when they get Dire Fleet Daredevil back. They can then entomb and then get a second activation off of Shoulder to get whatever creature they want. That's a lot of things going on. I thought Shoulder was a choice, not a target. What does that mean? It is a choice. What? Wait, what? No, it's a... Yeah, no, it's a target. Return target creature card from the graveyard of the battlefield. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> Shoulder is a lifestyle. Okay, so all of these you. things. Um, I don't foresee myself playing anything, so I actually kind of want to untap this, especially when we're getting a Gristlebrand. No, I don't. We got Gristlebrand. That guy's lifelink extraordinaire. Okay. Do I just get to kill Chandra here? Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, we're definitely going to draw seven. Let's not be... I said that you can entomb in response to the trigger. What trigger? Oh, no, yeah. If the trigger goes on the stack, then then you've already forfeit your ability to target anything. Sir Riash, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Um, okay, so what do we got here? Uh, we can play a land. Oh, they just... Okay. I'm still going to target your land. <laughs> Okie dokie. That was a good time. We had a good time. Everybody's having fun. We're all having fun. I have hours. No, 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 no. SF Dragon, what's up? what gave it away? The um the Splinter Twin itself? That's what I would imagine. If someone nuked my land after I extended the hand, they're like, alright, I concede, and I'm like, alright, target your tundra, and they're like, Oh, I said I concede already. Guys, look, I'm just trying to get the the, the one two. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's a turn three sneak attack into a turn four one of these fat boys. Can we force mono white and trophy next round? Maybe. Who wouldn't want that though, you know? Oh. Um. Yeah, that's good. Next turn, sneak attack. Oh, baby. Do we even expose it or should we just wait a turn? Like, we're not going to be able to... Exhume. What if we don't play anything here? Discard Ashen Rider, then exhume it next turn. We actually have a decent amount of choices here. Like, if we play Sneak Attack, it gets exposed. I, I think we're just going to play... I think we're just going to play Mountain here. Next turn, we get to go Ancient Tomb, Sneak Attack, Kozilek, wipe your board if they tap out for something dumb. Oh, they're tapping out for something dumb. Chandra? What a little shit... You're stupid. <laughs> You're a dummy. Now I kind of just want to play Ancient Tomb, or and then play and then play Sneak Attack. Still don't think it's correct though. Like they have four cards. What are the odds they can do something? I mean, it's, it like whatever, man. It's it's round, 
It's game three, round three, and we're 0-2 so far. So, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play it to the to the way that gets me to put Ashen Rider and Kozlik into play on the same turn. Okay, so that's what we're that's what we're that's what we're doing. Okay, you got it. Manamorphose again. Fingers crossed that they're just digging. Okay, they're paying their costs. Costs us. This. It's happening. Let's bring it. Chandra? Don't even much care. Are you going to add mana, play Banishing Light? No, you're going to Snapcast her. That doesn't do anything. I think you're dead. I think we've just won two, boys. And it's the best feeling I've ever had. Good night. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Oh, that'll do it. All right. Wow, just one Ashen Rider? I didn't even get to put Kozilek into play. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this deck didn't do better, but... What can you do? We've had a bit of good, pretty good streak so far, so I ain't, I ain't, I ain't super upset. I'm, I'm more shocked because the deck seemed like it had all the components of reanimate and sneak attack and channel, but they just, we just couldn't put it together. Be sure to subscribe or follow on Twitch. Uh, it helps a lot. If you guys have Twitch Prime, it's free. It's literally free every month, and it's a great way to support the channel. Uh, hopefully, you guys will consider it. Hopefully, you guys will check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday, and. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.